Hey, Billy Glisson with Power Core 360. In today's video, we're continuing on our theme of golf distance accuracy and consistency. Today, specifically, uh, a follow up to the last webinar where we introduced the concept that the body won't turn in the golf swing. Specifically, today, we're going to talk about the shoulders and really focus on the back swing. Now, is it a function of flexibility or strength? I'm going to tell you, as an exercise physiologist and strength conditioning coach, it's really more about strength than it is flexibility. Your ability to turn your shoulders, uh, if you can't turn, it's probably because you sit a lot and just the reality is you haven't actually been turning, so you've lost the strength in the muscles that will turn the shoulders, turn the spine, turn the hips back. And without that strength, you can stretch all you want on the muscles, but really when we go through the golf swing, it's one, the muscles on the back side of the hips, the core, the spine, and, and the shoulders, they're gonna actually rotate and pull everything back. So we're really gonna talk about strengthening them more than flexibility. If we can work on the strength, then we'll increase the flexibility. More importantly, we'll maintain the flexibility to continue to be able to do that. Um, little housekeeping here, first and foremost. Um, physically, if you've had a back injury, hip injury, shoulder injury, and you know a doctor, nurse, therapist, or other health professionals told you not to do any of these exercises, then don't do them without their clearance. If you start to do some of these, either the assessments or the exercises, it creates pain, undue uh, discomfort or anything else, stop, right? And go seek professional guidance on this. Okay, let's assess your ability to turn your shoulders into the backswing. And so I've got an alignment stick on the ground just inside my right foot. I've got another alignment stick across my shoulders. And all I'm really looking for is my ability to turn into the, into the backswing as a right-handed golfer. And I'm looking to see, can I get my right shoulder to be able to turn far enough that it basically is parallel with this line on the ground, right? So what I want you to do is, there's a good chance, especially in sitting, that once again, if you've lost distance or never had distance, accuracy and consistency, that you go to turn in your backswing and your shoulders may turn to there, you may turn to there, but you're certainly not gonna get to the point where you can get a full shoulder turn and get down point in that parallel with that alignment stick on the ground. Don't force this. Once again, do your warm up first, don't force this. Just take what you can get, it's just a benchmark. We're just trying to see where you start, right? We have to know where you start to know if we're actually making progress. So stick your alignment, stick on the ground, sit tall, don't force it, do your warm up first, and turn and see how far you can actually turn. All right, second part of the assessment is now in standing more of a golf specific posture. I've got the alignment stick inside my right foot on the ground, I've got the other one across my shoulder. And I'm just gonna perform my back swing. And once again, can I get my shoulders to turn fully to where this stick is basically parallel with the stick on the ground? Once again, do your warm up first. You can try the seated assessment first. Don't force it. Just take and see what you can get where you start. If it's there, that's great. We'll take whatever you've got. Don't force it. We're not trying to set records today. You didn't get short, tight, and lose your shoulder turn today. You're not gonna get it back in a day. Let's just slowly, gently start the process of getting it back. Uh, one day at a time. How to do these exercise movements, it's really about, we're calling this strength, and it is, but it's not high level explosive strength, it's nothing crazy. For most of you, you actually haven't turned your shoulders, turned your hips, turned your core in a long time, maybe ever. The body's wired for those things to happen, but if you haven't actually turned on or activated um, the muscles and, and the shoulders and the hips and the core to actually turn and perform the correct movement, we're really just trying to flip on the, the, the breakers, if you would, um, to the muscles to actually turn on the strength to turn, if that makes sense. We're gonna warm up first. We're gonna suggest you take five, six, seven minutes, nothing crazy. Just go out, walk, bike, do something, get your core temperature up over five to seven minutes. Then we're gonna focus on slow movements. And once again, these are not about creating crazy strength and we certainly don't want any pain. We're going to take you to what we call in range and then we're going to hold six seconds. So if we're working on shoulder turn to the right today, we're going to do a couple exercises I'll show you. And essentially, we want the shoulders to turn whatever end range is for you. If you can only turn your shoulders that far, we're going to get to that in range of motion. We're not going to force. It. We're going to get to that point. We're going to hold it six seconds and we're going to breathe and we're going to repeat that two to four times. Over the course, if you do these daily, which is what we suggest, do these daily for a week or two, you'll start to see dramatic changes in your ability to turn the shoulders, right? What's really cool is an hour later, you may only you may do the exercises as we prescribe, and you're like, okay, you've got a little bit of a change, a little bit of improvement or progress during the exercises. 
but I'm going to suggest to you that you don't force it, that you come back an hour later. You may have started there, and an hour later you realize, oh my goodness, I've just moved another 20 degrees. It took you 5, 10, 20, 40, 50 years for you to lose your ability to turn your shoulders and your hips. Your body, once again, is wired to do it, but it may not happen immediately today. Odds are it won't happen today. It will start today. But you should see some nice changes or improvements in an hour after you've actually done the exercises, which will motivate you to say, okay, gosh, I'm actually turning a little further and it feels easier. I like this, right? Okay, now starting to work on the fix. So I'm gonna go in a seated position initially. I'm using an old golf club uh, and I've got a big enough club head on this thing to kind of hold this handle in place. I've got one of our PowerCore 360 bands with an exercise handle on and I've got it looped around that club head to hold it in place. I'm sitting tall, I've got my alignment stick inside my right foot and I'm just holding this across my chest. Now I'm gonna work on is basically rotating my right shoulder back and trying to get this shaft down now parallel to that shaft on the ground. Once again, in sitting, you won't because your hips aren't turning very much. You won't have near the shoulder turn you have in standing. Once again, don't force this, take what you've got. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gently, slowly just gonna take this to our end range. We're gonna hold at that end range for six seconds and we're gonna breathe. Deep breath in, relax. After six seconds at whatever end range you have, I'm gonna relax. And I want you to rest 10 or 15 seconds in between. Let all the muscles just shut off. Let them relax. We're going to do two to four reps. If it's your first day, do two or three reps max, okay? And then, like I said earlier, wait and see an hour later and see what happens at the end. I think you'll find you'll see some nice changes. So here we go once again. I'm putting this across my arms, nice and slow. I'm just going to turn my shoulder, right shoulder back. I'm going to get to that in range, and I'm going to hold for six seconds while I breathe. All right, what's really interesting when you do this is oftentimes when I'm actually doing the exercise, especially against resistance, they're doing a little strength activation work. As I turn my shoulders back, the muscles back there on the back side of my shoulders and spine are actually working to turn my shoulders around. And because I'm using resistance, I may not even turn as far as I did when I had the stick on there. But after I actually do the activation drill and I come back, it may be, it'll definitely happen after you may, after you uh, secure more turn, it may not the initial day, but essentially after I've done that one or two reps, now I can actually turn and I can get my extra shoulders turned a little further than I were before. Because I've just turned on, I've activated, right? Those muscles that are responsible to turn the shoulders. All right, now I'm gonna back up and give you a little uh, adaptation for what you might do. Once again, put the band on there, hold it to your shoulders, Make sure you're using a really light band. This is our lightest band in our system. Don't go grab some big Mongo band because all you're gonna do is end up getting hurt in the process. This is a very light band. And once again, I'm gonna sit. And for you, you might only be able to turn there, turn to there and hold it for six seconds and breathe. Do your rest for 15 seconds or so. Come back, you may find out that your next rep, a few of 30 seconds or so later, that you actually can turn a little further, right? You may see that that happens and then whatever end range you have, each day should actually open up and start to get a little better and better. The next exercise to help our shoulder turn into the backswing we call a V up. And it's basically, it's the, you're gonna make the shape of a V, kind of sit into a tall athletic position. The bottom of your fingers make the bottom of a capital V. And all you're basically doing are taking your hands and arms up to the top of the V, the outside width of the top of the V to do this. What you're gonna find out as you do this, you may feel some tightness on the front of your chest, top of your shoulders. You may feel the muscles behind your shoulder blades and, and mid and lower back actually working because they do need to work, they do need to get active to help you lift your arms up into this position. Just like the other exercise progression we talked about, we're gonna take our hands and arms up, we're gonna hold it a count of six seconds, and we're gonna breathe. We'll rest 15 seconds, we'll do another um, two to four reps of this exercise while we're breathing. Second progression of this. So if the first one, if you feel like, oh, I don't feel anything, you're just like Gumby, your arms go up and you don't feel much, well then go to your light resistance band. I'm gonna use our PowerCore 360 gray band. And what I'm gonna do is actually use a stick. And I'm gonna take our gray band with an exercise handle. I'm gonna put a little sticker dowel in between. And by the way, I suggest you have a sticker dowel. You're gonna use it in a lot of the things you do with us. 
I'm going to do the exercise. I'm going to sit kind of in my tall athletic position, really almost in a dress posture. And all I'm going to do with the band straight out in front of me, right in the middle of my body, is I'm going to do my V-up exercise. But instead of my hands being in here tight, I'm going to take them out to about shoulder width. And I'm just simply going to take those arms up and I'm going to hold it there at that top position for my six seconds and I'm going to hold. I want to make sure as I'm doing this, especially with resistance, I don't have any shoulder pain, back pain, neck pain. And what I don't want to do is I want to make it a side view. Uh, as I'm doing this exercise, I want my shoulders to go up, but I don't want to arch my back and do this. My body needs to be upright. In fact, it actually will be a little bit forward if you're sitting kind of in your dress posture. I'm just taking my hands and arms up to the top. Whatever range of motion I have, we're going to go to that end range. We're going to hold six seconds and breathe, and we're going to do two to four reps. All right, post-test after my corrective exercises. I'm in standing position now, kind of golf address position. Uh, alignment stick inside my right foot, another one across my shoulder. Just going to sit back into my hips, kind of address position, and just turn my shoulders and see where I'm at. And all of a sudden now, man, I've got... When I started today, I was just barely getting to being parallel. Now I can actually, I've got a complete full shoulder turn. I'm actually turning past that stick. Um, so for me, it actually has really opened up. It's activated the muscles that turn my shoulders back to the right. Uh, and if I do this every day, more importantly, if you do this every day, they will start to open up very quickly. If you like this video, please like us down below. Subscribe to the channel. Watch for the next email. We're going to come back and on the next session, talk about how to turn the hips.